This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation, specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e-learning to instructor-led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. In this section, we're going to take a further look at migrating file and print servers specifically. With any migration, the first thing that we want to do is plan it out. We need to understand what our needs are, the business requirements, and how those relate to migrating whatever services in question. You know, in this case, it's file services. So we need to look and determine why it is we might want to migrate. What additional benefits are we going to get from the distributed file system or the network file system or other things like the file server resource manager? So once we understand those, then we have a clearer picture as to our reason for the migration. Then we would go into the migration preparation. We need to take certain steps to make sure that the migration is going to be successful. And so we'll walk through that preparation. And then finally, the migration of file services uh, and print services using the Windows Server migration tools. Windows Server migration tools are going to assist us in the process, uh, help it to be a more straightforward process and less prone to error, help it to occur uh, more quickly. But we need to get in and look at the actual process for migration. But again, the first part is understanding the need. So let's take a look at the new features and benefits and the reasons why we would want to upgrade our file services to Windows Server 2008. 